Hey everybody, welcome to Fanboy Friday on November, Friday the 13th. And you might think this would be a Fanboy Friday about horror movies or stuff like that. But while I do like those, Fanboy Friday this week is something extra special, which I'll get to in a few minutes. <laughs> This week has been ridiculously busy, but every time I'm beginning to feel stressed out, I try to understand what's going on. I try to feel the stress and the, and the weight that it's causing me, and then not quite just accept it, but, but deal with it in a way that allows me to keep a positive attitude moving forward without just letting the stress kind of derail me. And that is always going to be harder than it sounds, but this week I've actually been doing it pretty well, I think. Even last night, I was coming home from work and I had tons of work still to do, chart and graphs and other data stuff that I had to get put together for a meeting this morning at 9 a.m. And then I still had to shoot the vlog and I still had to get other stuff done and it was just like, oh. But two things allowed me to get all that done. One, positive attitude. Just keep going. Just kind of not getting bogged down in the stress of it and not letting that negative energy just take me down because that eventually just slows you down too and you just get more and more frustrated. And two, more importantly than that, my wife is awesome. She was just very understanding of what I needed to get done. I still was able to actually spend time with Logan and with Liam this evening before both of them went to bed, but she ran out to get me dinner and I just wouldn't have been able to get all this stuff done without her. Thanks, honey. <sighs> but I am very glad that it's Friday. I need a break. One more day closer to my computer getting here. Very, very excited about that. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, I don't know that we have any big weekend plans, but you never know. Things just have a way of popping up. So on to the Fanboy Friday section for this week. I have been a huge fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000 for a very long time. Now for those people who have been in this world, you can call us Misties, go by the acronym of MST3K, whatever you like. But if you don't know what this is, it's a show that was on a long time ago, created by a guy named Joel Hodgson, where basically they made fun, they riffed on classic movies, really old campy films, usually sci-fi films, but not always. And the whole idea was that the films were super bad. And then the writers of this show created these characters who were trapped on a spaceship, one human, two robots, and some other folks. And as punishment from these evil scientists, they had to watch these films and see what it would do to their brains. And it was just hilarious. And when I was in college, all we did was watch this and then try to emulate that. I remember one spring break, I went over to my friend Nate's for the week out in New Hampshire, if I remember correctly. And we specifically did just that. We went to his local rental store and we looked for the worst possible movies we could find. And it was actually like 99 cent Tuesday or something. So for 10 bucks, we rented 10 incredibly terrible looking movies and decided to try to marathon our way through them, recording ourselves, making fun of them and all this. And it was really fun. Uh, we did not make it through all 10 movies uh, in, in a marathon session. I think we fell asleep somewhere around movie six. And I can still remember it was a Julian Sands movie. Uh, he was a vampire. And the problem was the movie was so slow. I mean, it was terrible, but it was just slow. It wasn't even like funny bad. It was just really slow and it just killed us. It just, we were out cold before that movie was even halfway through. But back to Mr. Science Theater, the reason why I'm bringing them up this week and saying that I'm such a fanboy is because Joel Hodgson is trying to bring the show back. He just recently launched a Kickstarter and I think it actually was only three days ago that it got launched. And what he's asking for on that Kickstarter He's trying to crowdfund two million dollars and with that two million dollars what he's hoping to do is do three feature-length episodes Which all the episodes are of mystery science theater because they watch a full movie So he wants to do three brand new episodes now He's saying if he can get beyond the two million if he can get up to like three point something million He'll do six episodes gets to four point something He'll do nine and if he can get to five point I think five he'll do a full season 12 full episodes brand new episodes now that might seem like a lot but he originally gave himself one month to get the first $2 million. And guess what? In three days, he's got $1.56 million. So I don't see him having any problem making his two million goal. In fact, if it goes at this pace, he'll make his five million goal plus some, which is great. And it shows how many fans of this show are still out there clamoring, yearning for more. And hopefully if he can raise this money, if he can get a full season of 12 episodes up, that will also show networks out there, somebody like Comedy Central or even something like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. Who else is out there is making stuff now? Who knows? Any of those web-based networks that this is a property that has a ready-made audience that is yearning for more stuff. So if you are an MST3K supporter, go to the Kickstarter. I'll put a link down below. If you haven't heard of them before, go find a way to actually watch some. My personal favorites, The Head That Would Not Die, uh, Alien from LA I thought was really good, 
And then of course there was the theatrical release they did for this spaceship Earth. All three of those are classics, but there's tons and they're so good. So that's the Fanboy Friday for this week. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. I hope this ends an awesome week for you and that you're looking forward to an awesome weekend. Stay tuned for next week and for this weekend show of The Motley Stew. As always, be good to each other.